But we start tonight with some major developments on an attempted kidnapping in Niagara County. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. And I'm Scott Levin. We just found out today the man originally arrested for the crime was freed and cleared of all the charges. And now another man is the prime suspect. Two on your side's Emily Lampa explains the bizarre twist in this case. This is 65-year-old Larry Kuyper of Niagara Falls. This guy is an animal and he prowled around Niagara County and almost raped a little girl. And besides that, he sent someone else to jail for 12 days. The level three sex offender now sits behind bars for attempted kidnapping, clearing the name of a man wrongfully accused. Our office took immediate steps to release Salvatore Prezioso. When was Mr. Prezioso released? Yesterday, uh, approximately 3.30 in the afternoon. If Mr. Prezioso was released yesterday, why not clear his name yesterday? It was yesterday at the end of the day, 3.30. Um, we were, you know, honestly, we were in my office till 5.15, so we did it as soon as we could this morning. Lawyers Sale. spoke for him today. Sale is hopeful that this nightmare will serve to remind the public that a rush to judgment is never fair and that an arrest is not tantamount to guilt. This all started about two weeks ago in this area of Wheatfield. A woman calling police early in the morning saying that an intruder was in her home. She later told investigators that intruder was trying to make away with her six year old daughter. She gave chase. The daughter was left behind, but she later identified the suspect as 49 year old Salvatore Prezioso, her neighbor. It was just about 24 hours after the kidnapping attempt that police would arrest Larry Kuyper for breaking into a shed just down the street, less than a block away. He was immediately taken into custody. And at that point, some, some statements that he made that we will not talk about led us to uh, further investigation into this kidnapping. We're told DNA collected at the scene of the break-in and attempted kidnapping tied Kuiper to the case. The Niagara County DA spoke with the victim's family. Her first reaction was a natural reaction, which was devastation that Mr. Prezioso uh, spent the time in jail that he did. And the mother's next reaction? Fear. Fear about how this could have turned out because of Kuiper's violent criminal history. He was actually being monitored with a GPS ankle bracelet, which he cut off in June 22nd. That means that no one knew where he was or what he was doing for a week before the attempted kidnapping. We'll tell you what authorities have to say about this coming up at 6. Emily Lampa, Channel 2 News.